we're going to look at laying out balusters from either wall to wall, newel to wall, uh, newel to newel, they're all the same. We will measure our distance between the two, um, say it's 65 inches. We're going to enter that into the calculator, plus we're going to add in the width of one baluster. In this case, we'll look at inch and three-quarter balusters. Plus one inch, three slash four, 66 and three-quarters. We're now going to divide that distance by our unit run. In this case, it's going to be our opening plus the thickness of one baluster. So we're looking at a four inch opening, that's our maximum code, plus inch and three quarters. We're going to divide that by five and three quarters. That gives us 11.6. We always have to round up because if we round down, the spacing between them is going to exceed four inches. So we're looking at 12 uh, balusters for our layout. Remember, we're only going to use 11 because we added one in for our calculations. So we're now going to multiply back times 5 inch 3 slash 4. It gets us back to our original number of 66 and 3 quarters. We're going to divide that by 12. It gives us 5 inches 9 16. So we're going to hit the plus memory function. If we hit plus equals, it's going to give us an array down the line of our leading edge of each baluster. So if we were to take that, lay out those marks, we would put the leading edge of each baluster on that mark and move to the next one. If we wanted to have center line to center line and not leading edge to leading edge, let's say we're going to be looking at uh, pin tops or we need to put in uh, dowel screws and we need the center line. We need to subtract half the width of one baluster when we do our layout. They all, from the leading edge, needs to move back to the center. On an inch and three quarter baluster, half the width is going to be seven eighths of an inch. So we're going to enter a negative seven eighths, so minus seven slash eight, plus recall memory equals four and eleven sixteenths. That's the center line for each baluster. Now if we hit equals, several times down the full line, we'll get all of our center line measurements for drilling out. And I'll show you how that works now. Typically when we lay these out, I would use a pencil, but in order to see more clearly, we're going to use a Sharpie. I've made a mark, uh, we're coming in at 57 and a half inches. In this case, we're going to assume we're using inch and three quarter balusters. When I lay these out to go face to face or off the newel for a layout, I'll add in one baluster width to the overall measurement. So we'll take 57 inch, one slash two plus our inch and three quarter gives us 59 and a quarter and now we're going to divide that by what we're hoping for for an ideal spacing which is going to be four inch plus the thickness of one baluster which is inch and a quarter so we're going to divide by five inch three slash four and we're going to get 10.3 balusters so if we simply go, if we round down, we're going to have a spacing greater than 4 inches. So we have to go up to 11. And remember that we've added a baluster in our planning. So we're actually going to be using 10 balusters, not 11, but we're going to use 11 for our layout. So we'll go back to our original number of 59 inch and a quarter. And we're going to divide by 11. That's going to give us 5 and 3 eighths inch. We're going to add, we're going to enter that into the memory of the calculator. It's, it's not 5 and 3 eighths. It is rounded to the nearest sixteenth on the display, but it keeps a, a very small, or a much smaller number in the memory. We're going to come back here to 5 and 3 eighths. 
Then we're going to hit plus equals 10 and 3 quarter. And then equals again 16 and 3 sixteenths. 21 and 9 sixteenths. And we're going to run up the line here. 32 and 5 sixteenths. 37 and 11. 43 and a sixteenth, 48 and a half, 53 and seven eighths. That would be the layout if we took each baluster and had the leading edge on the line. You'll see that our spacing between them is coming in right around so three and five eighths. We can check that to see that they're the same if we're so inclined. Stepping them off, and lo and behold, they are the same. Except for the very first one. If we're doing face to face, they all lay out the same, except for, uh, uh, I take that back, not the first one, the last one. For the last one, we're going to get a layout difference equal to one baluster width. Let's assume for a moment that we wanted to have center line layout and not leading edge. If we were using balusters that were pin top and we need to drill a hole or they had a dowel screw in the bottom and we need the center line. What we do for that case, we've entered the number, uh, the spacing in the memory. We still have that. What we do now is we want to set this back half the width of one baluster to get all our center lines. So on an inch and three quarter, Half of that is going to be 7 eighths. The easiest way to go about doing that is to enter a negative 7 eighths minus 7 slash 8 plus recall memory plus equals. Now our first measurement is going to be 4 and a half. And if we hit equals again, not plus equals this time, but just equals, we're going to get all of our center line layouts all the way down the line. So we're at 9 and 7 eighths, 15 and 5 sixteenths, 20 and 11 sixteenths, and so on down the line. You can again check this if you're so inclined with your uh, dividers. I've not changed the setting you'll find that it is exactly the same. It won't take long for you to do away with laying out with the, the compass. You'll find that this works much faster.